Today, our verse is Luke chapter 11, verse 40. You fools, did not he who made the outside make the inside also? The Pharisee who invited Jesus to eat with him was surprised that Jesus had not first washed his hands before eating. And Jesus said to him, Now you Pharisees cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. Then follows our verse, You fools, did not he who made the outside make the inside also? The word aphron in Greek means not using common sense. It is the opposite of wise, hence foolish or senseless. It could also mean that a person is ignorant or lacks ordinary intelligence. When Jesus said, you fools, he meant that the Pharisees were not applying common sense to the application of the law. The law was the issue here. No specific place in the law in the law of Moses specifies that hands must be washed before eating. There is a general reference to washing hands in Leviticus chapter 15 verse 11. Washing hands was part of the Jewish customs and traditions contained in the Halakha, that is the Jewish collection of written and oral traditions. Pharisees acknowledge that the washing of hands is based on the tradition of the elders if you read Matthew 15 verse 2. Therefore, it is not binding by law. Hence, Jesus says they do not apply common sense to know the difference between what they should emphasize. The Pharisees focus on the external practices to be seen as holy and righteous. Yet, they are full of greed and wickedness. Hence, Jesus says, Did not he who made the outside make the inside also? The two Greek adverbs here are exoten and esoten. Esoten means from the outside, outwardly or externally. It could also mean those on the outside or non-believers. Esoten, on the other hand, means inside or within, inner nature or the inside of you. Jesus wants the Pharisees to emphasize the inner nature because as Jesus said in another place, it is from the heart, the inner person, that evil actions proceed. Therefore, they should give away those wicked and greedy things within their hearts, so that they will be clean both inside and outside. On another level, the Pharisees condemn people who do not follow their practices and treat those people as unbelievers. Based on the meaning of Ezoten, Jesus may also be questioning the Pharisees if it is not the same God who made them and the non-believers whom they condemn. If they keep their hearts clean, they will know what God truly wants, mercy and compassion. For us today, how do we see other people? How often do we condemn people who disagree with us or do not hold the same position as us? What about those who do not subscribe to our faith or religious beliefs or positions? When we condemn other people for holding different religious positions, for holding other opinions, we have not rooted out the spirit of judgmentalism within us and may behave like the Pharisees. Lord, help us clean the inside of our hearts to enable us to see and treat others based on love and compassion. Amen. God bless you. Have a splendid day.